Hi, this is David Odell with Odell Complete Concrete. Today we're going to show you how to do some brick ribbon and a concrete fill-in in these two locations down here. What we're going to do is uh, we're going to use some uh, white flash manufactured used brick. And the reason we're using that type of brick is because they already have that in their front yard, so we're matching it. And we're going to put brick, well, I call them brick ribbons, all the way around the perimeter of each of these two areas. And then we're going to infill the middle with concrete. Now the white flash manufactured used is, uh, they don't hold up very well with a lot of foot traffic. The white of it comes off and you end up with a red common brick in the long term. So high traffic areas, I don't really recommend them, but uh, you know they're great for other areas, like maybe a planter bed or something like that, or the face shoot of a house, or something where you don't get where that white stuff's not going to wear off. Now we're not going to do this super uh, strong. We're not going to use a footing or anything like that. We're going to kind of just make this pretty simple because this is um, city property here. So what we're doing here is basically temporary and easy to remove so it's not going to have steel in it it's just going to be a real non-permanent type thing so we're going to use full size brick I mean you can get split bricks for this but I chose to use the full brick since I was pouring concrete on the inside and that full brick gives me more of a, a straight edge to pour the concrete against a deeper inside surface for the concrete if I use that uh, split brick, I would have only had like an inch and a half until I hit the uh, the concrete for the, the concrete base of the brick ribbon. So what we're using is a little uh, wet cutting tile saw, it's just the right size for cutting through brick. Also, it's nice because you don't get a lot of dirt and dust blowing around. It's a wet cutting machine and on these corner cuts of these bricks it's actually the it's same two bricks on the corner what you do is you lay them out in a line and then you just strike you lay four bricks out and you lay a uh, you just do a pencil line from corner to corner of the bricks you cut it and then you just flip the bricks over so these are actually the same brick there's really no wasted brick when you do the corner cuts this way I might have a close-up view or a little uh, more detail on one of these cuts as we go through this video. So the concrete that we're using underneath it was just a uh, 4500 psi bag mix that we're using here and it's only about two inches two inches two and a half inches thick of concrete underneath the brick it's not vehicle traffic it's just going to be foot traffic in this area So getting them level, you just get them close by hand in a rubber mallet. The rubber mallet is good because you're not going to break the brick and you're not going to um, damage the brick. And that's why he's using a rubber mallet on this. Get your base close to the depth of your brick and then tap your brick in. Get that close, then put a straight edge on it from point A to point B and make sure uh, everything is flat. I like to run it on the inside edge occasionally just to make sure that they're perfectly straight as well. Because a lot of times you're you're looking at the edge of the concrete and you're following that. And that may not be that straight. So if you run your um, level on a 45 angle on the inside edge, you can get them nice and straight as well. Now what we're using here is a type S spec mix. 
Now all these bricks we soaked in a wheelbarrow of water before they were all set. And that's real important when you're working with brick. You want to get them soaked. You got to dip them, um, submerge them in water for a couple minutes. That way uh, they don't flash dry on you when you're setting them. Because if they if the cement, the concrete base, or the mortar flash dries, it doesn't stick to the brick, and then you just end up with a mess. So soak the bricks before you grout as well. Another good idea to do when you're pour, putting your grout up against the uh, existing concrete um, is to run an edge or a hand edge on the inside edge of that mortar and give it a little bit of a radius because that mortar goes over the top edge of the radius of the existing concrete. It's going to probably chip off eventually so if you just edge that that grout that overlaps that edge of that sidewalk there um, you won't have that problem with the grout chipping off you can always come back and run a crack chaser th also through there a little bit to clean it up if that were to happen now I'm getting ready to broom it here I'm gonna be real careful when I broom this so that I don't drag the broom over the brick is if I do that, it's going to leave uh, some of the uh, residue of the concrete on the brick, and then I then I got to sponge the brick again. So if you can try to be careful and not get any, uh, the broom on the brick, uh, it's one less thing you'll have to do as far as the cleanup goes. Also, you won't want to use a lot of water on your broom because that's going to drip all over the brick as well. And that's how it looks when it's all said and done. Simple brick ribbon project. Thanks for watching my video. And if you like it, subscribe. And if you want to see the latest and greatest videos when they come out, click the little bell next to the subscribe and you'll be notified. And you'll get the uh, newest content. Thanks. Have a good day.